Hi, I'm Pat Mangan, Director of Governance Education at NRECA. Welcome to Governance Talk. My guest today is Venkat Baru Narayanan. Venkat, you are the Vice President of Integrated Grid in Business and Technology Services at NRECA. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Pat. Uh, thanks for having me. Artificial intelligence. I've asked you to come to talk with us a little bit about that today. Uh, it's coming up more and more in, a, in the director classroom. Yes. And I always like to start with a definition. So get, define artificial intelligence for us to start. Yeah, the term AI or artificial intelligence uh, has been around for some time. There's a lot of definitions. You know, if you happen to look on the internet or listen to speeches, but kind of starting simple, right? Uh, AI or artificial intelligence, it's really the science of making machines think and act like humans. So essentially when you create AI, you're simulating the way the human intelligence process works uh, in machines. Which we used to watch videos or movies when we were younger and we would see that and think, no, that'll never happen. And if it ever does, it'll be a very scary day. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that is a lot of uh, dystopian movie, movies. I mean, Terminator is my favorite movie. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> sure. But, uh, but uh, yeah, no, that is that has always been the case. There's always that dystopian feeling to it, or or it's all about you know us losing control uh, to AI-based uh, machines. And you know, absolutely. Uh, but but one thing I do want to say on AI is that the, the key to what makes AI AI, as I mentioned before, is simulating human intelligence. What does that mean? That means that uh, computers today think one step at a time, serial, right? You do this, then you do this, and it's then you do that. It's very linear process. Very linear. But that's not the way we think, humans think. Humans that do multiple tasks at the same time. We all, do, we all like to think we multitask, uh, maybe not efficiently, maybe some of us. However, our brains are wired in a way to develop multiple relationships with different pieces of information simultaneously. You know, you think about simple tasks like walking or seeing or reading, a lot of different things happen subconsciously mm -hmm. and we are able to do that. So simulating that kind of behavior and that kind of process uh, is what makes AI, AI. Very good. So let's talk about, we're talking to directors primarily, and directors right. are hearing about some of the things that AI can do for the co-op. So talk about, if you would, some of the steps they can take in advance of moving into some sort of a technology application. Oh, absolutely, I mean, there's a lot of use cases uh, for AI. I'll go into de uh, some detail on that, but first thing is like, okay, I'm here in my co-op now, I see and hear and look at AI all over the place. You know, what are the steps I can take you know, mm -hmm. to initially to look at it? Mm -hmm. and, and also, it's not a question of, no longer a question of when you should adopt AI. It's now a question of what in AI should you adopt? Uh, you know, so we are at that position right now. So then how do you prepare uh, for, for that? The first thing is, as we do with any new technology, is identify, you know, I always say start from the top down. Identify okay. use cases. What are the challenges I'm trying to address at my co-op. Forget about AI for a minute, just look at that. Okay. And, they say, and then, then the second thing is, empower your people. Empower okay. your people. Empower okay. your people. What do you mean by that? It means that, well, there's a learning that needs to uh, happen for people to learn about AI and learn mm -hmm. about how to apply AI mm -hmm. to the use cases that you identified. Mm -hmm. So give the opportunity for the people to learn about AI upskill their current skill set, mm -hmm. and then investigate, give them the room and give them the flexibility to investigate the application of AI into the use cases. Right. Third, very important thing, and that this is true not only for AI, but also for data analytics and a variety of things, is that uh, prepare to acquire and store and validate large amounts of data. Mm -hmm. from a variety of sources. You know, from AMI and from various all other of the places, utility systems. Sure. Exactly, and, and the key is, you know, uh, garbage in, garbage out, uh, right? So Still true with AI. Uh, uh, m even more true with AI, because remember, AI is trying to mimic human behavior and human decisions. Talk about us walking, and if you don't know how to walk, you're going to fall down, and you're going to hurt yourself. Same way, if you don't give the correct data to AI, 
something bad might happen. So you want to make sure that you get the right amount of data in the right manner, verify, validate, and, and build that infrastructure to be able to train the AI. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are, I think, three fundamental steps to look at. And the fourth one is, uh, is you know, we can talk about some of the precautions, but cyber, make sure you have a strong cyber hygiene in the IT or co-op. Okay, so that's got to be a foundation. You've got to have Absolutely. that cybersecurity in place. Absolutely, cybersecurity is applicable everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. all aspects of utility operations and planning and so, uh, interactions and so on. That is also equally, if not more true, when you are thinking about applying AI. Make sure your cyber protections are strong, verified, and then uh, think about applying AI. Very good. 